Hey, what's going on guys? The jury. Uh, today we are checking out kind of a pro it's pretty much a project update. This is uh, my Mongoose Amplifier 2. Uh, it's an awesome bike. Um, I it's really gorgeous. Uh, you know, um, it's a really great story how I even came. I only got this as a frame. Uh, what had happened is I've actually been looking for um, an amp research bike. If anybody knows anything about the amp research B2, B3s, like I had loved them um, and the amplifier bike because if anybody remembers um, Eddie Roman's Hammer Time, I thought Tim Fuzzy Hall, he had, he was, I think he was on the Mongoose amplifier, the first gen one and he's like doing all these cool tricks and he does this one that i call a john travolta which is he puts his leg over the top tube off this jump and um it, it was it, so you guys have to see it if you haven't seen it. it's on vimeo um i'll put the link on it and it's, it's awesome uh the whole backstory on this bike is this is actually literally a rescue bike uh there's a cool guy um named uh, goes by the name of Jake, uh, and I was coincidentally um, just on a random day. I decided to f I wanted to find uh, a bike, um, either a Mongoose amplifier or an amp research bike that would fit me. Um, I see these pop up from time to time, but never in a size that fits me. This is a 16-inch uh, size frame, and uh, I it is in spectacular shape. Um, it was in a junk. Jake found this in a junkyard pile, pretty much. It was gross to touch, and uh, he had polished this up, and he did a really great job. Some of the stuff, like here, that's my fault. Um, you know, just because like I'm always uh, working on other bikes. But anyway, um, there's very few bikes that I'll ever ride like I do in my shredded edits. You know, where I'm going off stuff. This is going to be one of them for sure. Just it's going to be my cross country racer, um, but the free riding stuff is going to be far if in, and in between if ever, because um, this bike is in such spectacular shape. So let's go over it. Um, I mean, look at this. I hope uh, and and the reason I haven't. Let me apologize to Jake if he's watching this. Uh, you know, and everybody. <laughs> why this bike is incomplete um because of you know obviously the covid situation uh it's it's harder to get parts these days so a lot of the parts that i had wanted um whether it's from a local bike shop or not it's hard because my plan ultimately is uh, i'd love to get some my plan is to get Magura HS 33R hydraulic brakes on here. Just, uh, it's, <laughs> I could probably do away with V brakes, but it's such a beautiful bike and I just want to bling it out. Um, and it, it will get other parts in time. I had big dreams for this, like a Thompson titanium handlebar, like just really a sick looking bike, but uh, because of COVID, <laughs> not happening. Uh, you know, and so, I mean, look at this. This is just in mint. <laughs> shape the pivots bushings um are in great shape the rear shock first thing uh that he did when i got it is uh this is not the original rear shock um kevin rissy i didn't know this until i had to fit it on he uh the original didn't even have had the uh basketball needle style kind of knee um ad air adapter so you had to use that to fill the original rear shock i sent this in to kevin rissy he pretty much replaced they pretty much replaced the entire shock um so this is a brand new shock it's got an, a schrader valve and uh because when i got it back um this was brand this i mean the whole thing looks is meant it, it looks different than the original rear shock so i'll say that much so it's cool that he did that and he did that for under he i pretty much got a new shock for under 100 bucks um all in all shipping everything so that shout out to kevin rissy for making that magic happen um i know justin over at rissy worked on the shock so and uh made this so shout out to him over at rissy racing um of course i'm gonna uh i'm moving this beautiful sid fork because it's going to be my cross-country racer it was supposed i was hoping you know sans covid without because of the covid situation i was going to actually use this as my wednesday night world's cross-country racer um and with this fork which was bare, uh, i think roughly at 2.1 pounds um 
Jerry Van the, the Jerry Vanderpool special, as I call it. Um, because he it originally was not like this. He had changed out, he had rebuilt this in shock and modified it so it's um it's a dual air. Uh and I could also fill it with it was just Schrader valve um, adjustment, so it's it's an awesome fork. It's not meant for going off hard stuff either, um, so, and it's very noodly. I've tried, I've pushed this fork a bit and uh, doesn't like it. So um, I think from going forward, uh, Greg McKenzie over at Butter Suspension is going to rebuild this um, from now on. Um, unless he can't do it, then I'll ask if uh, Kevin Rissy can do it uh, to get, or Rissy Racing can do it. Um, here I plan to do a one by ten. This is just a cheap Amazon narrow wide, as you can see here, uh, chain ring. It's a 32 tooth. I'll run an 1142 10 speed rear cassette by Sunrays, uh, the MS3. You can find it for under 50 bucks um, on eBay. Uh, there's a there's a, uh, an outfit called Gap 30 Cycles and uh they they sell the the price ranges sometimes you can find it for like 30 bucks other times you can find it for like 45 at most with free shipping and it comes gets all here almost the next day miraculously so there's that uh here um i found this on ebay from i think it's also from gap cycles don't hold me to that but it is from an ebay retailer um they have these 10 speed dior rear derailleurs for um about under 25 dollars and i think shipping is free so uh i i bought a bunch of these so so i got the i i asked for a bulk discount and i got it um because i'm running a lot of my old school bikes if if my the bikes that are not running shram are running 10 speed shimano so and it's just because i like standardizing my stuff so if i need parts or whatever um it's just easy or for me it's easier for me to either one stock up in bulk uh, because then i can negotiate a discount or the other thing is you know it's just easy to remember my parts because i know I, i'm so used to the parts i know what i want i need um and uh let's see oh yeah swapped over shimano slx crank set this is a 175 millimeter um, crank arm this bike is surprisingly light right now um these are kind of not like i'll probably switch out the tires again at some point um but anyway uh the tires with the mr tuffy liner and the tubes in here i'm not doing tubeless because i have too many that'd be too many bikes to do all the time um it's just kind of a set set it and forget it and uh same thing up front this bike is surprisingly it has to be under 25 pounds this bike is stupid light and that's the other reason i don't want to push it a bit um here uh, with the seat tube, I've done something different. Uh, there's, I'm just going to say this. No, I, I know people are, there's going to be a lot of people who are upset about it, but the wall thickness here is pretty good. It's 26.8. I reamed it out just a little bit so I could get a 27.2 on a dropper on here. And uh, it works just fine. So uh, this is a 27.2 uh, PNW Coast dropper external on um, here. And uh, sitting on top is the Pro Logo 147. It's the Pro Logo Kappa Evo Pass uh, saddle. Um, it's comfortable. It's a really good saddle for uh, like I've done two to three hour rides, and it, it's pretty good. I think if you're gonna go on longer rides, then I think the SQ Lab saddles are really a really good choice. But for, you know, because I'm doing Wednesday Night Worlds and it's going to be quick races. Like, I'm not going to go on these long rides. And I don't plan to take this to Tiger Mountain at all. Um, even though I, I, I'd entertain it. But I've, uh, I've ridden other bikes. And I'm just like, oh, that's going to be... It's really going to ding the hell out of this bike if it goes wrong. And I love this frame. Um, so I made it to a Paul Components uh, dropper lever. I got this... I found this, I had some points at Performance for like 10 bucks, so, and I found this on sale at Performance for like 80, so it really came out to like, well, Washington State Tax, it came out to $80. Um, here, it's a, this is a 31.8 millimeter uh, stem, race face stem by, uh, I want to say this is the 50, but I could be wrong, it's either 50 or 60, um, 60 millimeter length, 
with a 720 millimeter wide handlebar and of course the race face um, handlebars or I mean um, half Nelson grips and uh, oh yeah I should say and this is Shimano Z10 speed uh, rear shifter ten, uh, shifter and you can find this on Jensen for about under 25 bucks too so and I buy these in bulk as well uh, just because I know I'm, if I crash or whatever I just want instant I just want parts I can get immediately um, here I put the chain state protector uh, just uh, basically one of the tubes that went flat and I just cut it <laughs> turn this into a chain state protector I do two on here because uh, or even three in this case but um, just because I found out that the chain really does cut into the zip ties at times and then it breaks loose so it's just nice to have a backup and I, I don't mind this I know it's, it's ungodly but it, I'd hate to chip away at it's I mean if you look at the chain like this is so mint the whole frame is exceptionally that's a smudge see uh, <laughs> Nobody write me letters and a Chris King 1118 straight headset. Um, I mean, it's just so beautiful. And God, I mean, a little loose, you know. Um, I I will probably resolve. I'm sure there's a nice way for me to resolve it. So uh, that way it's a little quieter. Um, but gosh. Oh yeah, and this is the Shimano SM BB52 um, external cup or external uh, cup bottom brackets or bracket on here. Um, I wish there was more to say, but you know, right now this is the current setup on the bike. Uh, I should say shout out to Jake for this bike because he definitely knew this was a great bike or a great frame knows it's a great frame um had saved it from a junkyard pile cleaned it up polished it because when it was super shiny it was jewelry store quality when i got it out of the box um you know it's uh a lot of you folks don't know but as you can tell here um this will change um i am moving pretty soon so oh well, i think in a month roughly in a month right that's like how long it is for closing so i hope just kind of leaking kind of future info out um i hope to do tech videos uh and have a nice workshop set up it's not gonna look like seth bike hacks or something i'm not bringing in that much youtube revenue um so like uh, i hope to do tech videos for a lot of you gt guys and retro bike people or folks out there um that are curious like how do you do you know like how do you service these kind of old bikes so hopefully i can pull that off there's things that I won't, I can't do as well, like hydraulic disc setup or brisk, disc, or I mean hydraulic brakes because I do rims, at, rim brakes at times. Like the st stuff I depend on GHY because uh, they do a way better job. And then I get really bummed out if it's like not, if, if I do a crap job, then I'm depressed about the whole bike. So that's why if anybody wonders well, like the extent of how anal I am about stuff, that's how anal I am about stuff. Uh, but yeah, Jake sold me this bike all in all for under $100 just for the frame. That includes shipping. That includes, I mean, it in the condition it is, I it was awesome. And he was just, Jake was pretty much looking for somebody who was going to take on this bike, rebuild it, um, and turn it into like a really, like, you know, just for it to be back on the trails again. And for somebody to truly enjoy it, and for me, I truly have lusted after these bikes. Like I, you guys know, I'm a big GT fan. Um, the Frank the Welder frames, like this, you know, the original. Uh, people may not know this, but uh, some people may not know this, but Mongoose had licensed out the uh, patent to make this the amplifier bikes from horse lightner i say it's a horse lightner or amp research one of the two but this kind of four bar design that you see on a lot of modern day bikes this is one of the first generation bikes to have this so it's it's a really kind of special kind of thing because you've seen the design carry over through all these years right and only until re and then specialized bought the patent and so you saw this kind of four bar design 
for eons out of Specialized because they had the patent. So mm -hmm. anybody wanted it, they had to license it out. GT actually had to license out the four bar for the LTS. And now that the patent expired, they jumped back onto um, redoing the whole links or linkage tune suspension design, which is really good. Like uh, my friend Eric, who um, you guys know from the other video I did with his family, another GT nut. I mean, he wrote it and he's, I know there's a guy uh, who was on a, a previous comment who was really upset about the LTS design. I'm just saying, like, I respect his opinion. Sure, he called my bike ugly and all that, but I think there's respectful ways to, you know, we can have a dialogue, um, you know, and be adult about it. Um, so I'm just pitching that out here. I appreciate everybody's comments and stuff. I know there's some impa very passionate comments, but at the same time, I ask for people to be very, um, you know, like, let's have a respectful community of dialogue. And because uh, I try to answer everybody's questions, as you guys know, and um, I just want to let you guys know that. So, like, I'm showing you guys, I'm showing a lot of you folks out there, like the respect and um, acknowledgement, like as people. And I'm hoping that that gets reciprocated. So I'm just pitching that um, out. But yeah, I'm gonna, uh, hopefully I can, hopefully these aren't stuck on. I, I'm too scared to like pop these out because if they thread out, then I'm gonna have to have my shop's expertise kind of get these out. Then I can replace these with shiny titanium bolts or something, right? And then kind of polish this up. But there's not a lot of clearance. This is, isn't that crazy? Like it's a tight clearance. Like these are 26 by 2.1. I mean, I couldn't, eh. <laughs> Miyagi. No, I'm kidding. It's like, I cut my finger off, but um, yeah, it's really tight clearance, like all around. So um, 2.1 is as good as it's ever gonna get. But anyway, that is it for this beautiful bike. Um, again, special shout out. Let's just walk around. It's just such a cool ass bike. I can't wait to get this fully built, but I'm not going to pressure. I, I Let me put it this way. Like, I hope people can give bike shops and uh, a lot of retailers, just people, businesses in general, like a break from the COVID stuff. Like, yeah, like yeah, you're a customer, but, you know, given the situation, it's always hard. Like, I, I the, the sense of entitlement's killing me <laughs> when, I, when I see people. It's like uh, just nobody could plan... None of these retailers expected it to be as bad as it is. So, uh, and I see it in the bike shops where people are just losing their minds. And uh, give your bike shops some space. Let let them work it. Like like let them try to make things happen. Because uh, it's not only affecting the business, right? Their employees have lives, and you know, with school and childcare, and just the economy um, for people. Like, they, it, it affects a lot of people. So I just want everybody to know, like, let's just enjoy the time that we have and be good to each other and uh, not be, to have patience. So, uh, and, and things are, you know, if we, we stick together and just treat people as humans, um, as, as good, decent people, uh, then hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll get through it. But anyway kind of my rant and also my uh, I don't like to call them reviews because um, everybody uses that it, my experience or my project update so hopefully uh, when this bike is built I'll do a I want to call a shredded edit at this point it's just going to be like this beautiful cinematic so uh, if you guys have any questions about the bike or any knowledge that you'd love to pass down because I'm a GT guy for me to know barely anything about the mongoose stuff is like i'm learning i'm learning i just have loved the bike it was too good to pass up and it fits me so uh anyway drop those comments or whatever smash that like button i don't know i've never ever said that i hate saying that uh, because if you guys like the stuff you do and I, I talk all the time right just like it's the conversation between friends so that's it um, I got another uh, uh, video I'm gonna do of my updated Univega and GT. I think I'm just gonna back to back them. I don't know. Anyway, be good, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.